All right, hello there and welcome to the Global Sports Update on LN247. My name is Prince Will Mark. It is another day to bring you your daily um, updates from the world of sports. So much happening. We just saw the beauty of the FA Cup and we saw some wonderful goals and I'm sure you're feeling very nostalgic, but it is a wonderful, wonderful one. I am not alone on set as usual. My main man, Kelechi Mwusu, is here with me. Kelechi. Well, um, great to be here as always. Uh, it's time to go. Uh, let's set sail. I'm yeah, ready. Kelechi, you saw some wonderful goals. I'm sure they took you back. Mm, some well, years. Uh, yes, uh, took me back some years and also showed me what uh, the, Premier, uh, the Premier League pitches used to be back in the days as well. <laughs> yeah, before now. A long way. Uh, because, uh, you know, the sliding celebration couldn't have probably carried it through on those pitches I saw. Mm -hmm. Probably get uh, something. But, but just... I don't want to mention it because it's, um, it's a street slang. <laughs> you know, when you just slide, uh, glide across the, and there's a little bump. Bump, yes. Yeah, but, but it's showing you how much money has gone into development yes. football and yes. how far football has come, you know, so much. The excitement business. has always remained the it's same. It's always remained the same. It's always remained the same. It's always electrifying, always intense, always, always very emotional. Well, right now, about to bring you all the information from the world of sports. We'll be starting off from a game, a sport, a game that is actually, um, some people think it's just an indoor game, but right now it's becoming a major sport. That I'm talking about Scrabble. Kileji, do you know how to play Scrabble? Well, I, I play Scrabble a bit. I just tend to miscalculate where to, um, you know, place my chips so that I can, you know, get um, mm -hmm. in as, uh, you know, enough scores as possible to win the opponent. But but, I think well, I'm just about spelling the words. About spelling the uh, words. But, but the technical aspect, mm -hmm. I don't think I'm very good at that. But right now, it's becoming major, major sports. And we have Nigerian players that have actually won the African Youth Scrabble Championship. You know, two Nigerian players, you know, have won the African Youth Ch Scrabble Championship. Um, that's David Oji and Prestige Achibong. They emerged as champions in the under-19 and under-15 categories, respectively, at the winning Fred Awoshika African Youth Scrabble Championship. The championship took place at Christian schools Lekki, featuring participants from five African countries as Kenya, Liberia, Ghana, Uganda, and the host nation, Nigeria. David emerged victorious in 19 games and suffered five losses, secured the under-19 championship title after engaging in four days of intense mind games and compassing 24 rounds. Joy Ola emerged in second position between eight wins and a cumulative score of plus 1097. Latif Musaf, also from Nigeria, secured a third position with 17 victories and a cumulative score of plus 1012. In the under 15 category, Prestige Achibong claimed the top honor by winning 16 games and achieving a cumulative score spread of plus 2614. Kudus Aliu secured the second position with 13 wins and a score of plus. 1,358. Clinton Imode achieved the third place among the 88 participants from five countries. The winners were awarded a total of $9,000 in prize money alongside valuable gifts including laptops, tablets, and smartphones. Okay, Kilichi, you this is Scrabble, another one that's developing. We, we remember some, some weeks ago we talked about um, um, chess being a major sport, but right now Scrabble, and from what we've just read out, you know, Nigerian youths are doing so well. Uh, well, Nigeria are the highest ranked um, Scrabble playing nation in Africa when you look, when you look at international ranking. Uh, you know, I, I think, um, you know, the senior team also won a couple of events this year or, already, the Scrabble team. Uh, it's, it's no surprise for me. Uh, Nigeria are very vibrant when it comes to Scrabble. I think um, they've gotten as high as um, you know, top 10 in the world mm -hmm. uh, as well uh, in, in, in recent times. So I'm not surprised at all. And I like the fact that they are dominating um, these somewhat um, alternative sports. Mm -hmm. That's what you call it. It's alternative, alternative sports. But yeah. it's really serious when it comes to, I mean, on the global stages, they take it really seriously. Uh, the likes of chess, the likes of Scrabble. I like the fact that Nigeria actually taking you know, a, a kind of serious test mm -hmm. that's admirable when in this area of sports, yes. All right, but Kilich, when we talk about um, this grassroots sports development and this one, you know, I like that we have um, under 15, under 17, under 19 players, you know, and it's like we're catching them young. We've always clamored for grassroots sports development, clamored for talk about how um, we want sports to develop from the, from, from the grassroots. And having Scrabble, having chess, having all these games, these alternative sports, you know, I think it's a very good one. It's a step in the right direction. And from what we just saw, Nigeria dominating when you talk about the sports in Africa, it is a big one. And I am really, really excited. Yeah, about it's it. natural to have that progression uh, because they ha you have to always uh, feed, uh, you know, the, the, the senior teams. 
So you have to start from scratch. You have to start from the, you know, the age grade uh, competition, uh, competition so that they can provide uh, you know, players who are going to play at the topmost level. Mm -hmm. I, I think um, it's the best way to go. Uh, that it's geometry, it is that geometry when it comes to development, is very, very serious. And I'm, I'm glad it's also happening in Scrabble. Because you can say, okay, let's just let um, you know, one or two uh, you know, senior players be... When they leave the scene, there's nobody to take over from them. This is under 19, and Nigeria dominating is a good thing, and it's something to celebrate.